G'day, my name's Pat Norman, and I'm about to go on the most inconvenient walk conceivable. It's 4.15 in the morning. I'm going to go pick up Owen Jennings, and we're going to walk up Mount Kosciuszko with a cement pig. Cheers. So it's currently 4.30. We're just leaving now. 37, yeah. 37. So, and... Public resources. We're listening to um, a podcast of Dr. Norman Swan on LNL. Earlier in the program, Julian Assange was on. Um, and we're on our way to pick up Ziggis with the cement pig. Um, when I woke up this morning, because my alarm was going off and I had it set to Neapolitan Dreams by Lisa Mitchell. And I'd actually had a dream about today, because I dreamt that when I dream. Oh, we had to pick up Ziggis from somewhere totally different and the time was just blowing out further and further. It was getting later and later and I'm like, oh shit. So then I woke up and I was like, oh my god, what's that noise? What's that stupid thing that's going off? And I didn't realise that it was... I had a similar moment, yeah. Yeah, and I didn't realise that it was... I, can't, I don't know what device I thought it was. I thought it was an iPod or something. I'm like, shut up. And I'm pressing all these different buttons on it on my phone trying to get it to turn off. And I ended up wrestling with it in my bed going, oh, fuck, how do I turn this thing off? And then I finally realised it was my alarm. And all you have to do is like slide it or something like that to turn it off. But when I looked at the screen, I was like turning the phone off. And I'm like, oh. And then I thought maybe I slept past the... the um, time like maybe i slept past the four o'clock i'm actually amazed we're doing this like i was so expecting me to wake up in the morning and go oh no nah, and message him and just cancel it <laughs> really oh, well i know what i'm like at four in the morning i'm a morning person but at four in the morning I'm, yeah four's a bit too much i'm pretty inclined to go oh so i set my alarm for five past four so i had that extra five minutes Jeez, I must be keen because I only got, you know, just over an hour's sleep and I had no thought of even cancelling. What time did you get to bed? Um, I had to go to Woodport to pick a friend up at oh. about 1, 1.30. Do you have... No, no, he's in the army. Off shooting. Yeah, off shooting people. <laughs> okay, so we're just pulling up to Ziggis' place now. Oh, there he is in the there middle of the road, shit. On the roundabout. Howdy. Morning. Morning. Have you got the cement pig? Oh, I do. Oh, it's not even that big. Well, what do you fuck? Oh, I'm yes, because it's in a bag. That's hey, so good, because I was really concerned that the um, right, so chairlift pig? operators would say, I'm sorry, you can't have that cement pig on you a pig. chairlift. Oh, question. Oh, it's tiny. Again. Oh, how adorable. There it is there. Like, right, we need to get it in some I'll like a cement pig up a mountain. But I'm just one man. Alright, now we get Laura. I thought she's not coming. You can ask a question. What just happened, or do you want to explain it just like that? It's like what just happened, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, like... So, yeah, yeah, we pulled up and got fuel, and um, yeah, you should have filmed me going in actually. I should have. Yeah, oh well. We're I no, should have walked no in there with the camera. Now. Well, I'm going to Macca's, so we're going to go to Macca's. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so um, yeah, I pulled up and I was getting fuel, and she was staring at me as I was filling my car up, and I went in, and the guy next to her was like, she's in love with your hair. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, thanks. And she's just like, how'd you get it that colour? And I just paused, and I'm like, it's a wig. And she's just like, she's like, is it? And I'm like, yeah, it is. And she went, oh. And he's like, why are you wearing that wig? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to Mount Kosciuszko. And she's like, Kosciuszko? And I'm like, yeah. She, he's like, but why are you wearing that wig? And I'm like, oh, why have I got a cement pig? <laughs> <laughs> it's just something that I'm doing. And I was pretty Okay. Bad. No, I don't know. I'm pretty bad. Oh, oh here she is. Oh, she's filming it with... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> Where do, were you guys waiting? Uh, down. I'll show you as we drive past. All right. It. All right. Oh, 
right now the fucking you! <laughs> Fuck! It must be in hell. <laughs> we are in hell! Yeah. Hell is other utes. <laughs> yeah, I believe that was a Sartre. A what? Sartre. I should have asked, um... I should have asked... No exit. That should be my question into Cardinal George Pell. You know, everyone's like, oh, what do you think heaven's like? Boring, what do you think hell's like? And I don't know if Cardinal Pell's like, it's driving behind, getting stuck. Oh, uh, no, this cannot be real. This <laughs> cannot be real. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> it's 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 happened again. It's like the eighth time. And it's the, it looks like the same view. How does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I think we actually, maybe we did we're crash on death ice. Maybe <laughs> we did And we're stuck behind you. And worse is this one sort of. I don't want to go too fast to this lane because I'm getting scared. Like, yeah. what if there is death ice? What if. <laughs> death ice. What if this you is. What if I have to spend eternity in a new Oh, it's constantly getting stuck behind you. <laughs> this is going to be our last drive from the freeway. Oh, oh no. no. Shit. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> So I always imagine I have this great idea for a TV show and like I won't explain the very large plot arc to you but the final episode and the final moments would end with this song with the Sweet Symphony and heaps of your favourite main characters would die. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't end a show on a happy note. It would be, it'd be bittersweet, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't end a TV show on a happy note. Um, that's boring. It's got to be bittersweet. It's like Lost. Lost ended far too... What do you reckon What do you reckon about Atlanta? Lost was the worst ending. Stargate Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta ah. Okay, but they all arrived... It was yeah. a happy ending. It was a happy ending, yeah, which they did with they did with SG1, but SG1 deserved it after 10 years. But yeah. I tell you what ended well, um, even though I wasn't expected to, Stargate Universe. Ended? Really? Stargate Universe. Yeah, Stargate Universe has been out, got axed after two seasons. Did it? Yeah. Oh. But the final episode of season two, because they didn't know, they got axed oh. and they didn't know they were ending, so they didn't, they didn't write an ending. Yeah. But the ending of Stargate Universe season two was... We're all going to have to put ourselves into stasis and we don't know for how long or if we'll wake up. Um, to get to the other side of the galaxy, we expect it to be at least three years before we wake up. So the ship can drift across galaxies. We don't know how it is, how long it will be until we get another until we get more funding. Yeah, basically. And so and that's how it ended. Like they all put themselves in stasis and that was the end. And um, it was actually quite a beautiful ending. There's obviously a letterbox over here. Yeah. We don't actually know who would send a letter to this enormous sheep. But thinking about it, there would be lots of people that would send a letter to this enormous well, sheep. Well, I'm already feeling Namely, kind of emotional attachment to it. A so. cement pig. A Namely, cement pig it's probably feels at home piggly. with the big merino. Now, perhaps just put the, the pig cousins. underneath <laughs> the sheep. On that, oh or on the rock. Just on that rock. <laughs> oh, he's pig. Oh, he's pig. <laughs> Can I have rock? Can I have rock? Excellent. Panning out. <laughs> I'm gonna get run over by a truck as I try and film this pig and this. Watch the road there, Pat. <laughs> it's so good, I love its face. I don't know how pissed off does it look. <laughs> oh my god, hate last five 
I know. Oh, no. All the locals in Goulburn are like, fuck those fucking people. Big fucking berets. <laughs> fucking that amazing silver hair. <laughs> <laughs> and that stupid big. <laughs> Everyone knows this. Stop off at Goulburn. Oh, after our stop off at Goulburn, um, we thought we were getting straight back on the road to head straight down, um, which had to be the Federal Highway. But as it turns out, we're on the Hume Highway, and and we were heading out towards Yass. So anyway, we get out Laura's GPS, which obviously said we're on the correct road. But Owen and Pat's GPS is like, no, this is not oh, the correct cows. road. And then we yeah cows. And then we saw um, what we thought was a shortcut, but is in fact. A hideous dirt road in the middle of nowhere, and we may go here. I'm gonna check in in shit dirt road. <laughs> yeah, check in shit dirt road. <laughs> oh, this you know, looks it, like real road. It here would we go. be so good if yeah. Slow down. All right. Can we even get? Oh my god! Shut up. It's one way. No, we turn left though, and then get on the thing I saw on the map. No, just cut across it. Cut across where? No, we turn left and then we get off the road. I saw it. No, you keep going there. Oh, what's you know what I mean? that turn bit? Yeah, if you kept going, you could have got onto the other side. Oh, no, down there. It's okay, we, we can do a UE, right but. Or can we? No, we Fucking can't. Fucking hell. We won't be able to. We won't be able to now. Where are we? Oh, this part of camera stinks. <laughs> Doesn't it? Why do you smell so? Approaching, well, we just passed Canberra. Um, sunny weather in Threadbow. Apparently, according to weatherometer, it's rainy and shit on the central coast. Sucked in. Sucked in. Because all you people, you know, what are the all poor people doing? What are back the, at home. the common people <laughs> who are in fact sitting at their homes? I don't know. Sitting if it were me, and I, work. well, I would be. I'd be watching um, the first episode of season one of Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Again I'd, and again and again. I'd be in bed, still asleep. <laughs> still asleep. Yeah. And um, we had a bit of a, I don't know, we, we said this on the tape, we had a no, we 20 up. minute fuck up where we went. Yeah, we filmed like the the fog in the road. And... Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. We just explained we went the wrong way. It'd yeah. be good to edit it so that it has all the different driving shots from one after oh, the other. Will. Oh, yeah. Will, yeah. yeah. As we do the speedy driving. Yeah. And then we'll slow it down to explain. If we're ever explaining it, it looked really cool though when we're on that road. You might road. need to do a good voiceover yeah. afterwards. Yeah, it was really foggy and you couldn't really see far ahead of you. It looked like we were going to die. And it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. That was well. That was when we were feeling that absolute doom. Oh my god, that sign's one of the prawns from District Nine. <laughs> a big metal prawn. Hopefully, <laughs> we got it on camera. Careful. <laughs> what is eviction? She's a beautiful girl, she's a beautiful girl And everything around her is a silver pool of light People... What do you think, Ziggis? What's going on? Well, I, uh, once again, I had a fantastic nap and met Patrick that, uh, 
Lake George, which drives a boat. Absolutely it was. <laughs> so five dollars the richer is that. Um, didn't die or get raped to death on the dirt road, so there's that. Uh, there was a significant risk good. of that. Sweet. I was waiting for these creatures to come in. I was like, what we thought was sheep were just wolves in sheep's clothing. <laughs> they come prawns. and prey upon us. Fucking prawns in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Prawns in sheep's clothing. We missed prawns. Kosciuszko National Park Day Pass. Um, Monkey Pass. <laughs> would she say she was a bitch? She wasn't nice. I don't think she was that friendly, I don't know. Mm. No, not really. She could have been friendly. She could have been friendly. And she's like, what do you want? What are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. Just what do you want? Just oh. take my money. Just, Just piss I don't off. Know. Like, <laughs> there's a thing you're going to have to pull up. I'd Obviously, figure... she hates herself. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's taking it out yeah. on us. But whatever. I'm... There you go. Deep seated psychological problems. So <laughs> we're in Threadbow National Park. Oh, sorry, Threadbow. Kosciuszko, Kosciuszko National, Park. National Park. You can obviously see the awesome valleys out here. Oh, bloody Up hill back there. Oh. Like, it just looks massive. Um, so the stupid stop time? Yeah. Oh, because <laughs> I was going to say, I was about to just drive I through. I hear the massive like, biking gang going this is, this is the middle of, like, the snowy mountains. So I don't yeah. need to pay attention to stop no. signs. Especially since the biking There gang. is no law out here. All we've got is fucking the rebel biker gang on an ice delivery. <laughs> Uh, where it is. And a death ice delivery. Yeah, death ice <laughs> delivery. Where's the zoom yeah, on Yeah, all this right time. Oh, uh, zoom is the little knob on the top. Yeah. See, Ooh. and here it is. Everybody thought, everybody thought that ice was made in some sort of meth lab. It's actually just scraped off the road here. Oh, I just That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is fucking dumb, this isn't even for anything. It's, not it's for that anything. stupid little bridge to crap shit. Um, we're here in Threadbow. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're about to go up to the Eagle's Nest to have a cocktail, maybe a steak, and then begin our ascent up that mm. grueling peak of Mount Kosciuszko. <laughs> Will we make it? <laughs> well, no we, we barely made it here, so <laughs> God knows. There's been no death ice yet. So. There's Not been no yet. death ice yet, but there have so, been plenty of bikies shipping it back to the Central Coast. <laughs> so. See you soon. Like how many okay. half do things? We're here at the top at the uh, Eagle's Nest. Zig. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, we're here at the Eagle's Nest now. You gonna throw some shapes? Yep. Uh, speculated about <laughs> you know the size of pig we could actually take on the chairlift with us. And now what we're gonna do is go for a walk over here to a nice view that will show us how high up here. We don't have time for stopping while you take your pants off. It will allow me to move faster, actually. It's been scientologically proven. Oh, 
The heat being too much, Ziggis <laughs> on the verge of collapse needs to wear his boxer shorts up Mount Kosciuszko. By the way, we are 300 meters into the walk. Come on, Owen. I'm not doing it. <laughs> walk ahead, Owen. I don't know that goal is just like right. Yeah, people's fake. All the little mountain streams and stuff, I think that's quite beautiful. But uh, it's not particularly cold at all. It's really- Is that the peak up there? Oh. <laughs> no, that's not the peak, that's just some rock. Okay. Um, I do know, and this is a little factoid, early on until like 1870, whatever, when they actually did a survey and figured out the, the current Kosciuszko is the actual tallest Kosciuszko. Before then, something else was called it. But it's actually shorter. Yeah, right. Pardon? Retconned. They did, they retconned Mount Kosciuszko. And they also retconned the spelling in the 70s when they banned the car park. And I mean, hey, eat at the highest mountain or drive as close to the top as humanly possible. This hellish walk. I wish I'd worn shorts. I really do. And like here we were planning last night, I had, you know, 10 enormous snow coats sitting in my car. Yeah, we're like, it's going to be so cold up there. It's been snowing, you know, zero degrees. It's awful. Um, four and a half kilometers away, plenty of strange looks for, I don't know. Fairy animals and perhaps the pervert in the in the boxer shorts with a moustache. Mac was falling off the edge of this from walking backwards and barreling over other people. Trackers. Meanwhile, here's a lookout, and we're nearly at this car park that was closed in the 70s, which I really wish was still open, so I could drive up here. Might get hungry. Yeah. Uh, these are the guys busy building my house. <laughs> Where is this road? Oh, I see. We're off the track, actually. And for once, I'm not the one without my pants on. Yeah. Quite good. Pardon? Quite good. Get to the top of the chairlift and finally make it. I reckon I'll do one when I get home. <laughs> well, that there is the peak of Kosciuszko. So we've got about two and a half kilometers. Two four to go. Two point four. <laughs> well, can someone call you? Yeah. I don't have it in my mobile. Why? Uh oh. It's SOS only. What? No coverage. Are you kidding me? No. Zegas has lost his phone. Is it in the car? No, it's not in the car. Just need to find out which pocket's in, that's all. Oh. Well, what for? Uh -oh. Photos, I think. Found it. Cool. Right. <laughs> Are we going to be able to check in? I think that's the biggest concern. Yeah. This track you see over here, there's a car over there, that's the toilets are, that's the access thing that closed the public in the 70s to, I don't know, prevent them trashing the park. But you can drive up here, if you're in national parks or whatever. My theory is, we go and resurrect Casey Donovan oh. and bring her for a drive up here 
Imagine how hard I'd have to ride the clutch coming up Mount Kosciuszko. <laughs> and the speed we'd have to build up to actually make it up that filthy access track. <laughs> At least we'd be able to clutch start it back down easily. Yeah. We are approaching the summit. We're 1.4 kilometers away. About 1.4 k's away. Or oh, have you seen a sign? Uh, no, we're about 1.4. We're about 1.4 k's. Up around that, curves around in a circle. All right. And we're there. So awesome. It's going to take us about five minutes, but we're going to do it in three Yeah. Yeah. Camera. So we're mere meters, I think, from the summit. We've actually made up a lot of time that we'd lost uh, driving. 235. 235. So it's taken us an hour. So no, it's taken less than. Yeah, because we set off at like 1.22 or something. So we're going to be time. We're going to keep the camera rolling while we come around the corner to the peak. So Meanwhile, look at the view. Meanwhile, the view. <laughs> Pretty spectacular. And we have no photos yet. No. My prize winning camera work is going to give everyone vertigo. Dude, I got vertigo from that chairlift. I zoom, zoom in oh. What? That's where we came. Oh yeah. Where we came from. In moment. We're going to run straight down there. The air up here is actually starting to get chilly. It's getting gusty. Can you see all the cold? Yeah. Is it translating on the video? <laughs> I don't know if the cold's getting to you on the video, but my legs, which were fairly sweaty and toasty inside these jeans, are now getting colder. Uh, my right arm is starting to feel the, the biting frost. Here's some more children. I passed a gaggle of them from the school, presumably, which we were warned about. But there is nothing inside other than mountains, apart from the path we came up. Um, yeah, it is so remote and so impressive. Impressively remote. Impressively remote. Oh, there's that thing. So you could just run down the hill. Um, so here we have a sign that says, strictly no men. We're uh, directly violating that at the moment. Oh, well. You more so than me. Um, here we have the And we have some thing. sort of lemur colony <laughs> made up entirely of small this children. Your plan to stick your pig, thus extending the height of Mount Kosciuszko.